Welcome back here on Good Day Kansas. We continue our show from the Cosmosphere in Hutchinson today, continuing our To the Stars series, another year that Kansas Tourism, Colby Sharples Terry, the Public Relations and Communications Manager, sending us all across the state some of the coolest places. We're excited to see some more places here in 2023. Colby, great to see you. Yes. Happy New Year. Happy L New late, Year. Late Happy New yes. Year to you. Uh, man, you started off with a bang this year with uh, where we're at today, the Cosmosphere. Um, this is something just extraordinary this year in Kansas. It really is. You know, they have visitation from people all over the world, and there's a great reason why. So the Cosmosphere has the largest collection of U.S. and former Soviet aircraft, spacecraft, whatever you want to say, yeah. um, here at the museum. Uh, everything that you touch, it's like steam related. There's education. There's these, you know, one of a kind experiences and things that you can only see if you come here to Hutch. Yeah. Well, on our show, we're always looking for things that kids all the way up to older adults can do. I feel like this is a perfect encapsulation of that. Oh, absolutely. This is a museum for all ages and they have several experiences too. They have their dome, they have Dr. Goddard's space lab. You know, they have a team in here that's making stuff that is shown all over the world. And so it really is from itty bitty to, <laughs> to full grown, you yeah. will have a really, really great time yeah. here. So there's so much to see here, Colby. But maybe what are a few things that someone can't miss whenever they come here? Definitely the three flown space capsules, which, in, which includes the Liberty Bell 7 behind us uh, here. Yeah, and that look, just looks so cool to come and see. You won't miss it You'll right whenever you walk in the front doors. Um, so the Cosmosphere is just a great um, place to come see here in Hutchinson, but there is so much to do here in this town and just in this area in general. It really is. Hutchinson is a destination. There's, you know, they have this, they have Stratica, which is the only open salt mine in North America for visitors. I hit up the uh, Dillon Nature Center yesterday. It's free. They have exhibits inside. You can walk trails. There's even a pond you can fish in. Um, there really is so much to see and do. I uh, had dinner and some beers at Salt City Brewing last night, oh, which yeah. is a great experience. Uh, great vibes in there. There really is that's just, you know, a few things to do in this town. Yeah. You can absolutely spend a whole weekend here. Yeah, and some of those places we've shown on Good Day Kansas before. Stratica is a great place. Salt City Brewing, um, also just a cool place. That's just one of many places to come see here in Hutchinson. And I feel like with Hutchinson as well, this isn't a place that you can only spend like one day. This is like a weekend or maybe even more. Yeah. To oh, come absolutely. And check out. Especially if you come during fair, you know, yeah. week, you yeah. could spend a whole week here and just have a blast. Definitely. And we'll tell us how people can get more information. Quickly. Yeah. So if you go to travelcast.com, we have city pages. There's one for Hutch. Uh, you can also go to our blog and see inspiration there. Cool. Our first of 12 segments with Colby this um, 2023 year. We're so excited to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. That'll do it for this edition of Good Day Kansas. Hope you can tune in tomorrow at 1230 right here on KSN.